Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about singleton object. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. A singleton object is a class that has exactly one instance. So, uh, it is created lazily uh, when it is referenced. Until then, it will be like a normal declara declaration. It won't be create object will not be created. It's like a lazy val. Okay, in the Scala, we consider we spare, I mean mention that as a lazy val. So in Scala, we will define the singleton using the object keyword. And you all know it. Scala is object oriented, um, and uh, it doesn't have the concept of static. In Java, we have the static, which means that uh, the members, the class members belong to the class rather than to a object. Okay. So, a static method, whatever we, we you might have noticed, right? In Java, we usually mention it as a public static void main. So, that method can be invoked without creating an instance of a class. Similar concept is singleton in Scala. Okay. So, we can say like uh, singleton is an object which defines a single object of a class. In short form, we can say like that. So, now let's see one example to see how can we define the singleton object. So, when you, uh, I have just actually created, you can go to source, right click new, in the package, right click new and here you have the Scala object. And you give some name and click on finish. It will create an object like this. This is called the singleton object. So, let's declare some two variables, okay? So, val a equal to apple, banana, okay? And let's uh, define a function. simply okay let's display and inside this function let's print these two values okay now let's say you have a class we have seen right how to declare a Scala class in the previous videos so let's say there is a Scala class and inside the Scala class let's uh, here we have this one, right? So we will have let similar one. Pro uh, let's say val c equal to chiku and val m equal to mango. And here also let's have a function called same display, okay? Simple, simple function and display when I am taking just for our understanding because when we call you might get confused. So we can, uh, I am just giving one, but actually we can have display only because there is a different uh, objects right so it's fine here I am printing plus n so now we have a object like this and we have a class so now let's say we have some other object from where from the third uh, file from a third party place we have to call object and class let's say you have it I mean if you if you have worked with uh, Java you will understand better because uh, we will uh, have uh, different classes in different color I mean Java source files so here I am writing in a single file okay just for your understanding usually we will have these things in the multiple uh, Scala source file I mean Java or Scala source files so in this object let's uh, define the main method Okay, so inside the main method, if you wanted to call this display, let's say this is a singleton object, right? Uh, because there is no class assigned to it and this is of type object. So we will consider this as a singleton object. So here, how we will call this is directly we can. if you call like this and 
but for calling uh, because this you can see right there are, there is no error has been displayed i will run and show you the difference okay but because this is a class here this is an object singleton object no need to create any again object for that because it itself is object which means that this is the object of the same kind of class same name class name that's what is called a singleton object so, but here this is a type of class so for any class it should be instantiated first then only we can use the functions or members from there so for that what we have to do is for example a right a is the class name if i directly say like that it will give us error okay but if we de define some class a if we create an object and from there if we call then the error will not go i will do it again you might think that it is because of the display one but if you see here again we will have the same error we cannot call like that okay so we should in create one object for that class and from that uh, using that object uh, reference only we can call the functions or uh, class members that is a difference between i mean i for just for your example i have created the class but in the singleton object you can see here without creating any object you can directly use the functions like that usually in production environment we will have different scala pages so in that case we will just to do import comes down a practice and uh, dot singleton object this with this we will just have a import and we can directly call the display method without even dot is required directly we can use the display and we can use this method in another scala source file okay so now let me run this and show you the output we can see here at right? first one is a b and then b c, uh, c and m we are printing this way right so it has shown the output that i think this is the console yeah clear so this is how it uh, the singleton object works no need to create the object but for the class we have to create the object first and then only we can have access to other uh, i mean uh, whatever class members available inside that class so to summarize the methods declared inside the singleton are globally accessible right that's why we are able to access them outside uh, successfully so because this is already an object we cannot create instance of a singleton object and also we have uh, uh, seen in the previous video like uh, constructors right primary constructor uh, so here we cannot pass any arguments to the primary constructor okay that's the rule for any singleton object we cannot pass the parameters and we can also extend this singleton object as to the scala uh, i mean uh, class or trait here we can write extends oh sorry here class object is this one right extend ca this we can do okay so we can extends any class or trait in the singleton object and it's like an entry point when when we declared the uh, when we create an scala object right so it's like an entry point to the class and usually we will have main method in the entry point which is a singleton object only so this is about the singleton object friends this is how it works hope this is clear to you thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you